today we're going to be talking about the ownership experience we've had with the GR86. Coming about a year, or we're obviously rounding up, it's been like eight months. I want to talk about her ownership experience and all the trouble, the good, and the bad of the GR86. We're going to sell it. Here comes the money! Now we go for a drive. We actually we actually learned manual on these cars. We went to CarMax in another video and learned how to drive manual. I'm pretty sure I ruined their clutch and we basically ruined this one trying to learn on this one as well. You learned that Miata too. Oh yeah, we learned in a Miata. We were just test driving cars and then finally we came across this one and learned how to drive manual. This is a good car to learn how to drive manual in. So if you're shopping for one and you don't know how to drive manual, YouTube, learn it and burn out your clutch. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds pretty good. Very fun car to drive. So far, I loved it. It's a her car, it's not mine. But anytime we drive, she wants to be the passenger princess, so. Always. I love it. You love it? What car. do you love about it? I love driving it, and I love- Your Kurumi aesthetics? All I just like driving it and seeing people look at it and I'm just like, yeah. So how was, your, how was your experience driving or learning manual? It was horrible. Why is that? Because I had a mean teacher. Who was your teacher? You! <laughs> <laughs> what do you dislike about it? I don't think I dis You have to have some dislikes. Look at her Kurumi aesthetic. She got the premium. Comes with the duck bill. And what we did was put on the MBRP exhaust because the stock the stock was literally so quiet, it sounded like a vacuum. I taught her how to rev. Rev it! Bruh. Oh my god. Higher. That sounds really nice. It's like a deep grumble, like a Subi grumble. And it is a Subi engine. Just, we're just missing the GR Corolla. I hate to say it, but after driving that Canyon run, I gotta say the GR86 is a, a, better, a better drive. Mm. I'm gonna tell the for that. Why are you gay? If I would go back, obviously I wouldn't choose the GR86 because it's slow. I'd choose the Supra because I'm about flash style and looks. And the Supra looks. When it comes to driving, this car just feels a lot more visceral, raw, and it just gets your heart pumping a lot faster than the Supra does. Obviously, the Supra has that speed. Not the struggle to fit <laughs> It was leg day. My leg. So if I was to go back in time, I still wouldn't choose the GR86. It's a great car and it's very fun to drive, but that's why I had her buy it. You what? <laughs> Just so I could have a, a, you know, experience with it. She only paid 1500 over and right now these cars are going for way over market. So 1500 is not that bad. Yeah. We did have a track day with the GR86. We were going to take the Supra, but I was like, I don't want to drive my car that hard, so <laughs> so I'll take my girlfriend's car. She was like, yeah, go ahead. Got really good times. The GR86 is amazing, and it was teaching me a lot about tracking. So this car is a good, fun first track car if you guys want it. But yeah, she's all butthurt because of the wheels. Wait, I'm sure the back ones and the rims are all scratched. Yeah, you can see who did the scratching of the wheels. Where? Right there! How did I kill those? By driving so fast. We were going like 40. Yeah, the trunk space is pretty oh. good. It's messy in there. <laughs> Currently she's at 6,500 miles. No. We've got two oil changes. The really good thing about the Toyota GR86. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the, the really thing about Toyota is they come with auto care for I think the first 25,000 miles. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but you get free oil changes and maintenance for those first 25,000 miles, which is really good because you don't have to worry about getting an oil change or coming in whenever. You just schedule it and come in. They recommend every 10,000 miles, but obviously if you get a new car, you gotta break it in. We didn't break in the Supra and I, feel real, I felt really bad, so we broke in her car. And 10,000 miles is a little much for the first oil change, so we got it at 3,000 and another 3,000, we did it again at 6,000. I'm sure they're very easy to do on your own, but obviously if it's free, as we'll do it with Toyota. You can check everything else too. How do you know, were you there? 
They gave me a little paper that said what's Yeah, checked. they gave you a paper that says it's checked, okay? It's not actually checked. It's just a check in the box, okay? They didn't really do it. <laughs> That's a really good thing about Toyota. Super obviously gets it too. What else? It's a fun car. It's cool. It's easy to drive. If you want one, get one. Just don't. <laughs> if you want one, get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't. Don't pay. Don't pay crazy over. Obviously, you have the option to get a manual Supra. I would go for that. Get the car. Do it. Just do it. Do it. Like and subscribe right here. Get notified next time we post a video. And like three. Hey! <laughs>